robot. I'm here because I think if I try hard, I can come across as more relatable this time. Now, my notes tell me that you're, quote, continuing to strive for improvement every day. How's that working out? Better and better. I learned German, and now I'm consolidating and extending that work by using a German textbook to teach myself Korean. It's very efficient. And you've come back to the dungeons because... I think I came across a bit weird last time. I hadn't really understood how the editing process might work. I thought this might be a chance to seem more normal. I see. Well, good luck seeming normal by voluntarily entering a never-ending maze of impossible dungeons and fighting a series of terrible monsters. Thank you. I feel very prepared. I've rewatched all the old episodes and polished up my tactics. How impressive. So it would be terribly inconvenient if I took your dice away and replaced them all with coins, I imagine. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Heads? <laughs> it's a coin building game now. That's a good gimmick. Needs a match. Two heads or two tails. Good stuff. Good stuff. Do the enemies have dice or do they have coins too? No, they have dice. But I have coins? Target four? Okay, so heads are two, tails are one, apparently. Glorious. Glorious. Or is it target two of each? Two of each, apparently. Needs silver? Convert to gold. Okay. Silver coins only. Fascinating. Oh, and that coin uh, kept kept in there too. Well, I can't take it out either. That's funny. So could we? Can we go bust by flipping the wrong coin? Flip this coin again. If heads do eat damage, if tails, enemy gets two block. Hm. Average of three damage? Yeah, average of three damage. 50-50 plus eight minus two. What did the gold coins do? They were the same as regular coins, but I just got to do one damage for converting each one. Yes, we can bust by rolling three heads. Flipping three heads? You get the idea. We are now level two. Max health increased by four. And we get one extra CPU. Does that mean I can flip more coins? Guess we'll find out. Baby Squid is terrifying. Let's get more equipment before I fight Baby Squid. Oh, interesting. Three heads, two tails. How curious. Okay, and that doesn't count. He's also got a chance to backfire ability. D 
double the next action. Alright, let's do double the plasma. Triple heads. Oh, that's right, I can put one of the coins into the thingy, though. Ow. Credit crunch. Do three damage, return the coin. Plus four damage if gold coin. I think. Cool, three damage return. That's good. But uh, so Baby Squid might totally KO us here in one turn. We've only got 12 health and Baby Squid can easily, easily dunk us. Actually kill you this turn, huh? So I put a, once you put a coin in there, you can't take it out. All right, we didn't die. That's the important part. We win. Money back guarantee. Return a coin to the CPU counter. Or spreadsheet error. Add a heads to the CPU counter. We're having two heads already. Interesting. Let's take the money back guarantee. See how that does for us. Beach so far, so we're 50 50 to get a jackpot. Try using money back guarantee to return one of the tails. I don't think that's worth it. One KO. That's cool. Burn rates. Two tails and one head to do six and burn a dice. Interesting. Doesn't want the upgrade. Let's see what's here first. Kickback needs gold. Does damage and shocks the enemy. Any other ways to get gold? That's my question. Plus one, plus one. Make it smaller. No longer requires heads. Or two uses. Hmm. That also gets smaller. I don't know how likely we are to be able to get gold. Even with a money back guarantee, jackpot's never more than 50% chance. Exactly. There doesn't seem to be any way to guarantee it, huh? But we can make the payoff huge when it happens. that down. Get another upgrade. 
upgrade. Like, I, I can return a heads to flip again, but what's the point? It's gonna be a 50 50 either way. Heads for the credit crunch. I can put these into the pea shooter. Dadgy Chaves, thank you so much for six months of support. I have a blast with Dicey Dungeons. This is definitely one of the fa my favorite games that has come out in the last few years. Oh, whoops. Ah! I understand. Oh, interesting. Why was the meter flipped like that? Hello? Odd. Yeah, what? Flips every turn. I'd never noticed. Definitely never noticed. Toss has been so good for us. I didn't think so. Guaranteed kill, also, and I just ruined it. Alright, let's see if we get the jackpot. We do. Stop some cool version, though. It's thorns for each one? Yeah. Oh well. We'll heal after the fight, right? Horns. Reusable on gold. Or bear claws needs triples, deal eight damage, immune to errors. Let's just actually go for the. Uh, I'm gonna take that. That way we have a, a thing to do with the jackpot and a thing to do without the jackpot. So we can we can kind of play for both options on the 50 50. Heads up. Swap from tails to heads. Private health car care. To recover health. Or Boolean Operator. Do four damage flip slot. I want it. Oh, it's a two slot item, though. Hmm. So if we get a third tails, we can use the bear claws here. No money back here too though. There we go. Slots. Yeah, now requires heads. Nice. 
easy. No longer despair, and yet return. Market crash. Do four damage on gold, do another four. Oh yeah, we saw these already. Okay, let's get one more upgrade then. Reusable, interesting. Seems hard to get triple triples, but I suppose it could happen. And that gets smaller, which is great. Shrink it down. And this is just better than the thingy, because it works with gold. Credit crunch market crash are good opposites. Can load coins into it though. Oh, that's a good idea. good point actually. I hadn't considered that aspect of it. Like the drain monster first. This is one of the enemies got added later on in Dicey Dungeons. Uses of poison and confuse. Doing pretty well for ourselves. Okay. Tails than heads, though. I think so. Frog style, thanks for five months of support. Salted caramel cheesecake tonight, says Storm. Caramel in the cheesecake and on top, or a plain cheesecake with the caramel on top? Oh, great question. I like them both. I'd say, personally, caramel in the cheesecake, and then whipped cream with caramel drizzled atop, on top of the cheesecake, but maybe that's too decadent. Acquisition. The next two items have plus one use this turn. Hmm. We could do some good stuff with that. Uh, in particular, triple using the credit crunch. So that would go instead of the money back guarantee. Let's do it. Deal. Less decadent than the, than the original plan? Well, I guess it can't be too extreme after all. Again, easy. Do tails heads. Let's actually load this in here, then flip. 50 50 now? Let's do it. Easy. Yeah. 
perfect. It's infinitely reusable already. So I can't use credit crunch and acquisition because I would have no heads left. But I think we do this. Credit crunch, put them here. Double market crash. Pretty good damage. Confused, no big deal for us. Crystal. 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 Bonking. How do we want this to go? Put two heads into acquisition. Or coin toss this. Even shield. Fair enough. Acquisition, acquisition. Yeah. Next action. Hmm. If I flip a third head, we can at least bear claws. Dice is or coin? <laughs> I like the circular lock icon. It's cute. Hmm. With Fury, I can't kill if I don't get another heads, right? So. After this fight, anyway, though. GG. <laughs> One more CPU, so it should be three and three now. A match for two thorns? Hedge fund, I like that, but. Doesn't seem like a good item. Speaking of the the wicker man himself, here he is, ready to burn me. Actually, wait. Okay, okay. Oops, excuse me, sorry. Uh, actually, I see a good use for hedge fund right now against the wicker man. Yeah, let's take that over the coin toss.
BB Tech, did you hear that the Wicker Man's big on e-readers? Really loves his Kindle. Malkavian, thanks for 30 months of support. Th oh, three metric years, heck yeah. Right, let's face this fool. Weak to fire, you say? I'll show you weak to fire. So this damage inflicts burn and then rerolls the dice. Which is kind of spooky. I double my thorns. Have fun. yourself, fool. Yes, do it. Foolish man. Those are some toasty coins. And five HP, so I can double bear claws here. Prob. Not sure how the Rat King works. I imagine thorns won't be useful, but I'm not upset without the coin toss. Singer is also a decent opponent for thorns. Alright, how do you work, sir? Eight uses this turn, flick one poison, roll a new dice. What an evil ability. Thanks, I hate it. Alright, so if I bust, I can use bear claws. If I hit, we'll be good. Too bad. Layer of caramel in between the crust and plain cheesecake, then load it with caramel on top. Mm. I agree. A most delectable plan. Next two items get plus one use. So I think that just means we double credit crunch, right? Take it. Ah, 
I will take it. Alright, I don't think I want hedge fund for the lady. Not sure about... Uh, no, Kraken wasn't too bad either, in terms of number of attacks. Tails in a row, what can you do? She hasn't been rolling too well. Ah, uh, this should be an easy kill, too. Not too bad. Alright, what's in the box? Bailout. Auto roll immediately. For seven tails. That's pretty good, actually. Um, that allows us to uh, guarantee get gold coins in play and do big damage like that. So I'm going to take the bailout and try it out here. I bet the upgrade needs six or something. So we do here tails, heads, and then flip. Heads, we got Bear Claws or Acquisition, or some combination thereof. We'll put the tail into Bailout. Rolling sixes, thank you. So curse has a chance to make our equipment fail. got me good on this one. Uh, this just makes my next two equipments this turn reusable, so it won't have any use to me. Just end the turn then. Okay, we need to wait on this turn. 14 damage. Shouldn't be too bad with Fury active. Curse is a problem, though. Guess you could say we lost a coin flip. Oof. Two of each is good. I think 
This was the blaster thing, right? Yeah. Good. Angel Investor, double all attack damage for the rest of the turn with six thingamajigs, or take an upgrade. We'll take an upgrade. That's right, it is six for bailout plus. I figured it would be. Next three items. At the start of the boss fight, gain one coin. Interesting. So we could start banking up for the boss fight, literally, with a trust fund. Heads do one damage, tails plus two damage this turn. Reusable. Boom and bust, I like that. So you just sink all your coins into it. Ideally the tails first and then all the heads. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, we have no battles left. Good point. Take the boom and bust then. See what the upgrade is on that. Smaller. That's pretty good. We could use that over... Acquisition, maybe? Yeah, let's upgrade the acquisition. Versus... Ifa. This is what I want to use, yes. Just got a big uh, sword and board set up here. I'll defeat you as often as I need to, kid. Tidal Blade. Four dice, four countdown. So six t up to 16 damage or block per turn, but not both. Interesting. Alright, I think we want to stash some coins away on acquisition and bailout here. Use those at the same time. Okay, three out of four ain't bad. Unfortunately. Okay, bear claws. Should have used that last turn. It's okay. Put these three in here, then we immediately auto roll three hits. Which is not that good. But I can do a ton of damage with acquisition credit crunch. Like a ton of damage. Hold the power. Return the coin. Easy. Unfortunately, that's the end of our turn here with only eight health left on the boss. Not too bad.
I would enjoy the Awaken one fight a lot more if, uh, if this was the music that played during it. Definitely. To lose here. Worst case scenario, Bear Claws can still activate. Easy peasy. GG. How was that? Exhilarating. And what about your quest to come across well in the edit? I think I've got a decent chance. I'm being open about my vulnerabilities, and my understanding is that that can be very relatable. Gosh, just imagine wanting to be relatable when instead you could be feared and adored. Episode complete. Well, we've got two left. We haven't beaten the one with the jester yet, nor the inventor. Let's see. And those are rated as lower difficulty, particularly the inventor. Cool. We'll do the inventor and then revisit the jester. I think I'd like to be able to complete all of this in one stream. It doesn't quite feel worth revisiting to me for two more episodes. So, let's keep going until we finish all of them. However, before we jump into a investor run here, I'm going to invest in myself. Sorry, not investor. Inventor. I'm going to invent up an excuse to go on a break, refill my water, stretch my legs, and then when I return in a few minutes, we'll play a run with the inventor. BRB folks, don't go nowhere when I return. More cozy dicey dungeons. BRB.